X Pac 12360. He is the 2018 Battle of Los Angeles winner from PWG. And uh, he's literally, like, honestly, he's probably one of the top five uh, mm. guys in all of independent wrestling world right now. Um, everybody give it up for Jeff Cobb. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Jeff. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that sweet introduction. Uh, I, I tried, man. I just kind of pulled it out of my ass like, real quick. And it wasn't the smoothest. Like, our, one of my ex co hosts, Christy, she used to kill with those intros. Oof. Was she? No, she wasn't. Was Christy there? No, she had anyway. just left. Hey, Last so, time Jeff was here was episode 39. Uh, okay. Mm. Wow. And we're on 105. Yeah, thank Oof. you. And so, yeah, Jeff, a lot's happened since episode 39 when you were on. Yeah, I know it's been a, it's uh, it's been a wild ride for me, man. I've been, but I'm super appreciative of all the success I've had, and definitely owe it to a lot of people, just you know, giving me a chance and giving me opportunity. Yeah, man, and and that's the thing that like w- one of the things that stands out about you to me uh, is the amount of gratitude and everything you just have uh, for your life, not just your career, but your life in general, and. And how that like, uh, and just in that how, how that affects how you treat others, and how I see you are to others, and how other people love you, like and and uh, like for instance, like I saw like probably it was about a week ago, I saw Matt Riddle tweet out just about how much he missed you, so like that says a lot about you, Jeff. Uh, well, you, I mean, I try to, I mean, I mean, Sean, you know, you know firsthand, like. Like this world is it's crazy as it is, you know, there's a lot of negativity and a lot of hating out there and, and wrestling should be a getaway from all that kind of yes. stuff. So, you know, I try I just try to be as positive as possible, you know, because everybody's going through stuff. And when we come to wrestling, you know, I guess this is our work. And yeah. you know, we try to we try to leave our BS outside and just have fun and entertain fans and yeah. just have a getaway, even if it's just for a couple hours at a show, yeah. you know, we just want to get away. So, you know, I try to try to be as positive and, and as happy as possible. And plus it, it also helps that I'm from Hawaii and we're just super laid back and then we just enjoy life. So. Ma- mahalo. <laughs> 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 hey, no, but so it, it, this is an escape for them, but it's also an, a, an escape for us too, because, you know, we can forget about our problems for a few hours while we're there, you know, uh, making, making the people happy. And, you know, I mean, so it's a win win really. Right, yeah, it's a, it's a win-win for everybody involved in 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 a wrestling show. So that's that's why like there's no other form of entertainment like pro wrestling, man. It's just it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Well, I want to know who is your hardest opponent at Bola. Uh, well, to be fair, um, everybody is hard because not everybody just gets invited to Bola, let alone PWG. So like they you know the the behind the crew uh, guys at uh, PWG definitely always bring in the best of the best. And it's every match is usually like a main event status match. So, I mean, I, I had a rough match with everybody. Uh, um, even most people say like, Oh man, you just killed Trevor Lee in like 14 seconds. But I mean, to be fair, I did catch him off guard. So <laughs> he, he, want, he wanted to jaw jack a little bit on the microphone. So I kind of just turned that uh, negative into a positive for me. Nice. Who did you have the the most chemistry with this weekend, or the best chemistry? Um, well, you know, um, I don't know. I feel like um, like I, I've called uh, Matt Cross this, but I feel like I'm in the same boat as Matt Cross, where I feel like I can have good chemistry with with just about any person or any right. style. So I mean, I, I I I felt like I flowed with everybody, especially that main event match where it was. Two guys, like one guy was from Mexico, one guy's from Japan. So that language barrier is really tough. Yeah. But I, I felt I felt fine with that, and I felt fine with Darby and Ray Horace and and Trevor Lee. So I mean, I, I just felt like I I flowed well with everybody. I, I felt like I was on my A game that week this past weekend. Jeff, on Twitter, you posted a list of all the past winners from Battle of Los Angeles. How does it feel to see your name on there now? It's pretty darn crazy when you think about it like like just looking at that list it's like a who's who in professional wrestling and it's crazy to be 
on that list of past bowler winners and just uh, it's very surreal realistically because growing up as a kid in, in Hawaii and in, a, in an island far away from where all the wrestling is, um, you know, I, I envisioned myself being successful, but just, I mean, this is just a huge stepping stone for me. And it's, it's very surreal, really. And really, like, it's, it's, it is such an, it's, 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 it's a, an incredibly important thing to have on your resume, mm. Jeff. I, okay, like, okay, this is wrestling, it's a work or whatever, but, like, that is a huge accomplishment, like, to me, like, like, when you look at everyone that's, that's, you know, come along bef- before that, and, uh, yeah. Just a, just a list of Chris Hero, Kenny, o- yeah. Kenny Omega, Loki, Roderick Strong. Ricochet twice. Ricochet twice, yeah. Yeah. So many, and so many people, like, even to just make it to the finals, mm-hmm. let alone win the tournament, is huge. Especially, like, wrestling, what did you wrestle, five matches this weekend? Um, I had four in, in two days. Yeah, four Oof. matches in two days. That's crazy on the body. Hey, uh, go ahead. I, I wanted to know what was it like when you wrestled Darby, and for you two to have to be the first non Mexicans to have people throw money in the ring at you? Because usually that's <laughs> usually that's a Mexican yeah. thing at yeah. PWG. All the Lucha guys they throw money in the ring after the match if they like the match. But Darby and Jeff were the first Americans well, mm. to have that done. So. Well, uh, I mean, it depends on who you ask. I guess I can be considered uh, of Spanish descent, but uh, I don't. It's weird, like, like I don't, you know. At, every time, like when that happens, it, it's always great. Like, don't get me wrong, because the Luchador is always playing great matches, but to be able to have money thrown in our match, it, it it's it's a sense of pride because. I mean, you know, at the same time, it's like, hey, we have great matches too. You can throw money if you want to. I mean, <laughs> yes. I'm not saying like you have to throw money in all of my matches, but I mean, if you feel compelled to, I mean, feel free to throw some money. Or worst case scenario, just stop by the merch table and pick up some, some <laughs> cool merch. Either or. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, show your support if you like. <laughs> or my both. Match. Or just you know, have your Venmo on your trunks. Just make sure cover all the bases. Hey, I, I, okay. So, how much money did you guys split up? Um. With me and Darby, yeah, I don't remember. I mean, was it? Uh, they like things like maybe roughly about twenty bucks each, I guess. Mm. Yeah, nice. Yeah, because it's not <laughs> yeah, about because it's, yeah, it's it's not about like okay, we're getting it, like this is another payoff. It's like yeah. no, it's 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 a it's a token of appreciation, and you can go out and you know buy a few beers or or buy a meal or something. It's it's sweet. Yeah, well, I mean, I used to get, get it done wrong. sometimes I, I, too. I, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't go into any of my matches expecting money to get thrown at right. me. My goal every show is to steal the show and make people who are on the fence about me personally yeah. just just change their mind. I'm like, okay, well, just like if if someone doesn't view me as a as a quote unquote top talent, then my goal is to have them change their mind and go, well, damn it, I was wrong. So that's my goal. Like, my goal is not to make extra money but i mean it's just a little icing on the cake if you will yeah hey so i've been like paying attention to you uh your matches since uh i mean just since uh was it not last the bola with the bola you were in with with ricochet last year yeah, yeah that, that I, my, i've been really <laughs> follow and and i'm watching the progression of like your in ring work and man it's come a long way since even then well I, yeah thank you i mean my it was goal, great again, then too. Yeah, I don't mean to say it wasn't like, great I never, then. I never, I never want to just like ride what I have. I always yeah. want to get better and be better. Like you know, if you aren't striving to be the best, what are you doing? You know. Yeah, yeah, and and I've noticed like your style. Like, hey, do you like working with guys that are bigger than you, Jeff? You know, um, a part of me says yes, and a part of like. Because of what I can do with bigger guys, yeah, like I've been, I've been blessed with being able to have like stupid strength to throw big guys yeah, around. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. So, man. <laughs> yeah, to pick them up and toss them. So that part of me says yes, but my lower back says no. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it, it's it, it's, I mean, it's great. Like I like I said, I love working with either one. Um, like there, it doesn't matter. Like my goal, like I said, is to steal the show and have the best match on the card and make you guys and have great memories for 
you know, for people to look back yeah. and be like, oh man, you remember that one time when Jeff did this? And mm-hmm. so that's that's my goal. So because you have a really unique style from my from my point of view, because like you're a power guy, and and but you just said you have a unique way. Like I see you do stuff that some people will consider like high flying stuff, yeah. like the mm. flips and like different standing things. shooting star press. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man, and and I really like how you do. Not that other people don't do both flying stuff and power stuff. I just love how I just love your way of doing it. Well, thank thank you for that. I mean, like I try to, I don't want to be typecast as this type of wrestler, or this yeah. type of wrestler. Like I said, I want to be all around. Where if you put me in with a luchador, I can do luchador stuff. If you put me in with a big guy, I can do big big guy stuff. And you put me in like a Zack Saber or a Timothy Thatcher, I can do the ground stuff too. So I I just want to have a a very well rounded game because I in at the end of the day I I feel like I'm I'm more valuable. If I can do, if I'm a jack of all trades, if you will. Yeah. I've been cursed with having guys that think they're strong. <laughs> they can't to throw me. Just because I can do it. Like, I, I never brag about my stuff. But I've been in a f- quite a few matches where they're like, oh, yeah, I'll pick you up and do this. And and there's been a few times where, like, I my life flashed before my eyes because they almost dropped me. So, for him to do it and like he's a he's a deceptively strong guy because when you think of luchadors you don't think of them being like like the powerhouse right bandito is definitely uh one strong cookie man he's oh that was yeah he's so i feel comfortable now when if bandito wants to do something i'll be like i'll be more willing and open to do it now just because he showed me he can do it so hey jeff are you um when they look at you and think they can, like you know, you know, hoist you around like that, is it because they owe they like overestimate their strength, or they underestimate just how big you are, or how much um, how I, compact I and like they, how much you weigh? I think they overestimate their strength. Uh-huh. I mean, they overestimate <laughs> how big I actually am. Yeah. Like I'm not the big like like if I stand next to like a Brian Cage or a Keith Lee, like. I'm small in comparison to them, but dude, come on, no, you I mean, weigh I'm, you weigh as I'm, much I'm, as those guys. You weigh as much as Brian. Come on. Yeah, I'm I'm deceptively big. Like when you, because like I don't have the giant the giant muscles that he has, but um, I I guess I get it all in my my lower half with my legs <laughs> and my, my ass, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You a big deadlifter, Jeff? Uh, used to be. Yeah, I bet. Uh, in my in my older age, I kind of I tend to not go crazy heavy anymore, just because I want I want to have longevity as yeah. opposed to yeah. So, but I mean, if I ever if I ever get a chance to like lift with John Cena, I'm definitely gonna max out because I don't want to lose to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's really strong, man. Like I mean, yeah, I know that I, might I, sound I, like yeah, an under, uh, that might sound like an obvious statement, but like ridiculous like, beyond belief. Like yeah. he went to. And this isn't hyperbole. He went to college for that. Yeah. Like that's what his degree is in. 